This is an introduction to a series on love. Now, a lot of people say, well, we're Christians, we know about love. Maybe we do. Maybe we know about it, but do we actually do it? You see, too many times we go around telling people we love them. The word love has gotten mixed up and turned into something it's not. And we tell the world we love everybody. In fact, if I ask you, who do you love? You'd, you'd say the Christian token answer, I love everyone. But the question is, do we? If we do love everyone, we'll behave a lot differently. And I think most of us will admit that. But the question really is, why do we need to discuss love? I've been through church for most of my life. And we've discussed faith. We've discussed fear. We've incited fear. We've discussed condemnation. We've discussed so many different things. But we spend very little time actually discussing love. And without that love, without that love, the entire Christian message disappears. Not just the love of Christ, but our representation of that love. If we don't have it, our message is lost. Christianity is about marketing. It's about marketing God, and that means marketing God's love, and you do it through action. There was a time when if you drove a Chevy, but you worked at Ford, you ran a risk of getting fired. Because you were marketing against with your actions. Sometimes we do a lot of things that aren't real Christian. And we have to get back to that point where we start behaving like the Christians we say we are. And that begins and ends with love. Love has been co-opted by the world for a long time. They call things that aren't love. Love. They call lust love. Sometimes we get on board with that. They call desire love. They call it craving love. I love ice cream. No, you don't. You like ice cream. You desire ice cream, but you don't love ice cream. Not when you look at love through what the definition of love is in our scriptures. And as long as we allow that to take place, it weakens what we think love should be. Because if we believe that is love, then we can't truly love God. And we can't truly love one another. Because we set the bar so low that we're not even coming close. It's not about overlooking the wrong of the world. That's not what love is. It's about understanding that there is forgiveness and understanding that there is grace. It's about being part of that unforgive, uh, part of that forgiveness, and part of that grace. Showing them how God gave it to you. It's showing your gratitude for what God has done for you. That's what love really is. And if we look at First Corinthians chapter thirteen, the definition of love, I think as we move along in this series, the question is going to become: Who do you really love? Do you love anyone beyond yourself? And for some of us, we don't even love ourselves. In fact, for some of us, it's easier to love others than it is to love ourselves. And that's something entirely different. So what I really want to do is I want to address love in this series. I want to address love for God, love from God, and love towards one another. And the various forms that comes in. And all these messages will be short. I know you have a short attention span. I don't want to drag it out. This is not a lengthy sermon. Each one of these will be a very short message. But each one of them is intended to provoke thought and hopefully provoke action. And it's not as though I'm preaching at you. I have to preach it myself just as much. These messages came to me because I needed to change. Because I needed to become a better Christian than I was. Than I am. 
And because of that, the Lord gave me these and said, now go give them away as well. Because my people aren't loving each other the way they're supposed to. They're not loving others the way they're supposed to. And they're not loving me the way they're supposed to. So we're going to be focusing in each of these messages within this series on the concept, the identity of love, on the functionality of love. And hopefully, we can develop better ways, more effective ways to love each other, to love the world as God intended, and to show that love that we have for God. So I look forward to each of you joining me for these messages.